Dear ladies and gentlemen, let's step inside Ralph Lauren's house in New York. Closer to the end of the video, we will choose the best room in the house from our point of view. Please comment down below in the comments what is your favorite room in the house and we will see which room wins. Designer Ralph Lauren and his family have lived for 13 years in Bedford, New York, a village about an hour north of Manhattan. It is one of five Lawrence houses. The only clue to who is in the house is the car in the forecourt. A pair of vintage automobiles from his collection occupy the circular drive. The Norman-style stone manor house, built in 1919, 17,000 square feet, is surrounded by over 250 acres of rolling lawn, woods and ivy crawling on every wall crevice, giving you the fairy tale feeling. The rear terrace is simply furnished and is used for dining and entertaining. You'd be surprised at the eccentricity of his home. Let's take a walk through the house together and find it out. We are in the entrance hall, with English style understated. Entrance hall made up of a tiled floor, vintage walking canes and mock stag heads. A 19th century Dutch chandelier presides over the entrance hall. A grandly scaled George II side table and the first of many oil paintings greet you, as does the scent of lilies. Oh, and here is Ralph Lauren himself greets us in the entrance hall. We love the airy and sophisticated vibes at the entry. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are walking into the library. The hall opens on the left to a library, a mahogany-paneled room that leaves an impression of brawny club furniture. This room will welcome book lovers and be warmed by a black marble fireplace. An array of leather-bound hardback books rests on the floor-to-ceiling bookshelves. The library's French doors are curtained with a Ralph Lauren home velvet. A two-arm organ lamp is 19th century. The pillows are made of antique fabrics. Ralph Lauren says of the residence, it's a combination of hunting lodge and stately home. To the right is the dining room. The dining area looks a bit official for us. It has the biggest collection of wall paintings and drawings on deep green velvet walls. Above the George III table hangs a big chandelier. If Lauren brings an interior designer to mind, it is Renzo Mangiardino. And here is a tiny glimpse into the kitchen. Now, let's walk to the living room. One end of the first floor is occupied by a classic English drawing room. A circa 1860 English chandelier illuminates the living room. The room is completely covered by 18th century tapestry, comfortable couches, Louis XV's zebra wing chairs, the George II table, paintings that are larger than life, ceramic vases that are certainly worth more than a car. The theme of the living room is resonated in the rest of the house, an eclectic mix of antique and contemporary design. And here is the sitting room, the room with a pool, leather armchairs and blue velvet couches. A true gentleman's retreat, carpets layered upon carpets. Lauren likes his rooms deeply colored, highly dramatic and turned inward. He prefers mahogany paneling and Georgian furniture polished like glass. And now let's move to the five-room master suite, the Lawrence private quarters, a five-room master suite opening off a paneled round hall are upstairs. His master bedroom is wrapped by a deep blue fabric like a midnight sky at full moon. The room has furniture somewhat dressier than the rest of the house. It is anchored by a Georgian mahogany and walnut bureau cabinet and an 18th century mahogany armchair. A Regency bed on top of oriental rugs complete the look. A purposeful balance of antique and contemporary is evident throughout the house. Next door is a master sitting room, used primarily by Ricky Lauren. The corner is dominated by a Louis XV's bureau from the collection of Edmond de Rothschild. The walls are draped in tartan and the curtains are tartan too. A circular mahogany paneled hall leads to the master bath. The couple chose white marble for the space. The master bath is a bit of fresh air from the resounding decor of the stately home, as it is all white and with fewer paintings and adornment. The bath with the marble top at the center facing an 18th century mantelpiece gives the illusion of an old bedroom converted. When indoor plumbing was introduced a century ago, we all can see here a mirrored wall as well. 
here is a dressing room. Life force beats strongest in the dressing room. Don't you think so? Stacks of luggage surround the room. There is a shelf of leather boots, a wall of cashmere sweaters, mostly in navies and grays, and another wall of nicely broken in Belgian loafers. All monogrammed RL. His closet and dressing room are outfitted with mahogany millwork. And now let's go to the pool house. Lighter tones can be found throughout the pool house. In the sitting room there are white walls, bleached wood, 16th century Belgian pine ceiling beams and a 17th century French limestone mantel. The lamps are made from 18th century Chinese vessels. Ralph Lauren home fabrics cover the sofa and pillows in the pool house. Here we also can see a small but cozy dining area, which looks far less formal than the dining room in the main house. Furnished with vintage furniture, fitted with white and blue pillows and tablecloth. The white tiled flooring continues to the bright bathroom. A vintage French bistro mirror hangs above the antique pedestal sink. And now we are outside and we can see the pool house terrace. The exterior is covered in climbing ivy, evoking the recurring look of English country houses once again. And now let's choose the best room in the house. And our best room in the house choice goes to the library. It is the most cozy room, it seems to be perfect to spend a lockdown in, and it is full of books which will provide feast of knowledge for a brain. We like the French doors, the comfy leather armchairs, the writing desk where you can work with your laptop remotely from home, the relaxing, soft and slightly dark lighting, which helps the eye to relax. And of course, we are mesmerized with the bookshelves. And what is your favorite room in the house? Please share with us your point of view in the comments down below. We hope that already next year each person on this planet will have a home like this. Please subscribe to the channel, you would help the channel a lot. And please like this video if you liked it. See you on our next interior design tour very soon this week.